Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the Scare Group channel. Today I'd like to talk about the Samsung Galaxy S4 and the OTG cable. Let's have a look. Alright, so you might say, what is an OTG cable? It's basically a USB converter. It's, you have the micro USB to the regular female USB and it's basically what it means is uh, OTG means on the go so this allows you to basically plug in any USB peripheral to the this end and then you would plug in this end to your phone and then you would actually be able to connect uh, a bunch of different peripherals and ha use them on your phone so I have a few examples here today and I'd like to show you that. So the first thing we could uh, hook up is just one of these guys here. It's just a USB converter. This is flash, compact flash memory. It's pretty old but I want to show you how that works. So what you would do is plug in one end to here and then you would plug in the other end to here. And within a few seconds, it connects. So if I want to do view all file, USB A, and there we go. We have access to this guy right here. We could also do one of these. So again, uh, SD card. Actually, it's a micro SD card adapter, or just the regular little guy here. Plug that in. There we go. Go to USB drive A and we have working hard drive. So there's different kinds um, that you can get on Amazon or a bunch of different Chinese websites. You can get these ones or you can actually get these hard ones, um, non-bendable ones. So different applications you might want to see different things. So uh, hard drives and stuff are, isn't really the only thing that you can do. You can actually do USB and wireless mice as well. So let's take a look, see how that looks. Okay, we got a light there. And there we go. So works just like a regular pointer would. And that's not all, so you're wondering, well, what about a keyboard? So let's take a look. Okay, so let's just see. I'm just going to start typing. And there we go. SecureCorp.com works pretty good. So now you might say, well, how do I get a keyboard and mouse? Well, that is also doable with this guy here. So just a regular Belkin hub. So we have the out of the hub which we'll plug into here plug in the keyboard in one end the mouse in the other see they both work still so if we click on something here
So you're able to go about my website here quite freely. You can also hit the YouTube. I'll go to YouTube just once. And there we go. Now we're on my YouTube channel. Go on the keyboard here. That still works as well. All right, so what other applications? How about one of these? So say you have an old, old keyboard with a PS2 connector. Will that work? So can we get a light? There we go. Works just as well. So, pretty slick stuff. There's the light. How about another cell phone? How about we need to charge another cell phone? So, the cell phone's just connected with a regular micro USB to regular USB. Let's plug that in. And there we go. So, let's see if we can view this guy. So, turn on USB here. Bam, we are connected to this phone through this phone, and we are charging. So, uh, the only things now, so here's the things that are not working for me. So, I have a um, DLN or MHL cable here. So, this will work if it's standalone, you'll also need to power it up. That's fine. But I was hoping that I could do keyboard and mouse plus the video out. Uh, so what I would do is, you know, plug this guy. Basically, plug trying to get uh, multiple out with with this, right? So, um, you know, I'd plug this guy into the hub, plug this guy into the hub, and try to get video out and keyboard and mouse at the same time. That did not work. So it's it's more likely because the there's not enough pins here in the uh, in these cables to uh, to be able to do video and other components. So that was a bit of a bummer. The other thing that does not work for me is NTFS hard drives or you know external hard drives or what what have you. So this will light up. It'll spin it because it gets power but the phone will not be able to read it. Um, so the, the way to actually get it to read it is you need a NTFS reader on your phone, which is quite doable. I'm not sure if you need the root to actually make that happen. Quite possible. Um, I haven't really played with that yet. But if you guys want me to, if there's enough interest, I'll, you know, I can probably do that for you guys. So There's also these kind of adapters you can get as well. This is just a regular extender. You can actually extend to make it a little bit longer or you can go um, micro to um, mini I think or whatever that used to be there. So this all, all this stuff will work as well. Regular flash drives as well will work. So pretty cool stuff. Well guys uh, I believe that is it for this time. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I very much appreciate it. Also, check me out on Twitter. I try to post there all my new stuff, so uh, you can check that out. Also, please don't forget to subscribe. That way you get the videos as soon as they come out. Well, guys, that is it for my time. And as always, I thank you for yours. We'll see you in my next video. Bye.